Today I'm going to talk about split testing or A-B testing your marketing materials. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for being here. It should come as no surprise to you that when creating marketing material for your business, you want it to be as effective as possible for your target audience. Large companies do it all the time, but with social media, it's making it easier and easier for the little guy to run these same types of tests and have them be cost effective as well. First of all, let me explain what A-B testing is. It's where you test one variance at a time by showing two variations, an A and a B version, of your marketing materials to a sample group. For my examples today, I'm gonna to use a test group size of 100 people. For example, you may have a sign-up form on your website that you wanna test. All things being equal, you have one form where the button says sign up, and one form where the button says register. You would split your test group and show each version to 50 people each to see which one is more effective at getting people to click on it. Or maybe they both say register and you wanna see which color combination is more effective, whether it's a green button or a blue button. Another form of this type of testing is called multivariate testing where you test multiple variations at a time. In the example above, you perhaps have one form where it has a green button with both register and sign up and a blue button that says the same thing. This gives you four variations to test the same form. Unfortunately, with multivariate testing, you generally need a larger sample size in order to get the same type of results. In the previous example, because we now have four variations to test with the same 100 people, each result is only going to be tested with 25 people instead of the original 50. If you wanted to have 50 people to test each button, now your sample group size needs to double to 200. The reason this is important for your business is to multiply your advertising dollars and to increase your return on investment. Obviously, advertising that is proven more effective is going to be better for your business in the long run. In the online world, the consumer is often unaware they've been shown a different variation and thus unaware that they've actually been part of a test group. However, I was in a pharmacy recently and I noticed what I perceive to be the same type of split testing, which if you're unaware of it occurring, could end up costing you more money in the long run. Let me explain. So I was looking at buying some cold pills. Yes, just a cold. And I was doing my usual search on generic pills to see if I could get the same medication for cheaper. For those that don't know, Tylenol and Advil are brand names. Their medicinal names are acetaminophene and ibuprofen respectively. You can often find the same medication in generic form for cheaper if you just take the time to look at the bottle. As I was checking the labels, I noticed the various brands of drugs were effectively split testing their packaging. Tylenol Cold contained the exact same medicinal ingredients as Tylenol Flu. Benadryl contained the same as Benadryl Night, and Benalin All-in-One contained the same medicinal ingredients as Benalin Mucus and Phlegm. Even more interesting, a week later, I noticed that Tylenol Cold was cheaper than Tylenol Flu. Now, the store may have just been trying to clear out aging stock. However, it could also be a split test to determine whether you, the consumer, will pay 50 cents more for the exact same medication just because it says flu instead of cold on it. So before you mass distribute your next marketing piece, run a few split tests. If you wanna target women versus men, these split tests may determine who is more likely to respond to your particular marketing piece. And as a consumer, when you notice two seemingly similar products side by side, Look at the packaging and do a quick comparison. You may be surprised and it may save you some money in the long run. So that's it for me for the day. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you have any questions or feedback, put them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. If you liked the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. Other than that, thanks again for watching and have yourself a great day.